In this video, we'll be solving a linear equation which contains fractions. Our problem is to solve the quantity 3x plus 6 divided by 10 minus 1 half x equals 2 fifths x plus 33 fifths. Now we'll begin by multiplying both sides of this equation by the least common denominator. And our least common denominator, we can see that we have denominator of, of 10, 2, 5, and 5. So our least common denominator is 10. What this will do is cancel these denominators off, and we'll have just a linear equation which does not contain fractions any longer. So what I'm going to do is show that multiplication. I'm taking 10 times 3x plus 6 over 10 minus 10 times 1 half x equals 10 times 2 fifths x plus 10 times 33 fifths. Now to make it easier to see, I'm going to write these tens over 1. So this 10 in the numerator cancels totally with this 10 in the denominator. And all we have left is 3x plus 6. And then this 10 in the numerator cancels um, a factor of 2 with this 2 in the denominator. So divide 10 by 2 and I have 5. And divide 2 by 2 and I have 1. So now I have minus... 5 times, and 1x is left. On the right side, this 10 in the numerator and this 5 in the denominator have a common factor of 5, so I'll divide both by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So now in this term, I have... 2 times 2x. And then here, um, this 10 in the numerator and this 5 in the denominator have a common factor of 5, so I'll divide both by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So now I have 2 times 33. So now you can see that I have no fractions, yay, and I can just um, proceed with uh, multiplying and simplifying. All right. um, here I have 3x plus 6, uh, negative 5 times 1x is a negative 5x, 2 times 2x 4x, and then 2 times 33 is 66. Let's combine like terms. I have 3x and negative 5x is negative 2x, and then just copy 4x plus 66. And let's subtract 4x from both sides. And these will cancel. Negative 2x and negative 4x is negative 6x. And then copy. So 
subtract 6 from both sides. These will cancel. And I have a negative 6x is equal to 60. Divide both sides by negative 6 to isolate the x. These will cancel. And I have x is equal to a negative 10.